What's up guys, Chameleon here. Today, I got some gameplay for you on Bailout. It's one of the newer maps, so I'm kind of happy about this upload. Um, this actually took place four or five games after my previous upload. Um, I have a video on Team... I think, it's, I think it's Salvage. Yeah, it's Team Deathmatch and Salvage. And I pretty much go through the same crap. I mean, I don't know the map. I don't know where I'm going. I kind of stick with my teammates, keep my eye on the radar. And, you know, I just kind of try to wing it. Um, hopefully, once I get to know these maps better, I'll have some crazy gameplay. I'm obviously not going Ramble style or Chuck Norris style and trying to do the impossible. I mean, I mean, actually, I can't even use Chuck Norris as an example because, let's be real, no one can be like Chuck Norris. He's the ultimate badass. I mean, we've all heard those Chuck Norris lines. I mean, he doesn't even wear a watch. You know why? Because he decides what time it is. That's how gangster he is. I mean, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> but um, enough about Chuck Norris. Um, let's get back to this gameplay. So in this gameplay, I'm using the scar. I have it silenced, and I don't have scavenger on. So you guys are gonna see me picking up a ton of different weapons. Well, not a ton. You're gonna see me picking up a few different weapons. Right now, I just picked up the ACR and I'm trying to take these guys out from long range. ACR, it's kind of weak, but it's so accurate that it, it kind of makes up for it. I'd say it's a similar case with the FAMAS and the M16. They say uh, the FAMAS is much weaker than the M16, but the accuracy on the FAMAS kind of just makes up for it. I actually prefer the FAMAS over the M16, but that's just me, I guess. So, I go on a nice kill streak with the SCAR right around here. And, see, so you guys are going to see me constantly reloading with the SCAR. The clips are so small that it forces you to reload. And, I mean, as long as you guys are accurate with your shots, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. But if you miss a lot, um, you're kind of screwed because you're going to find yourself looking for ammo, reloading, and, I mean, you're, you're going to be uh, in some trouble, I guess. But even, even without that, Scar is easily one of my favorite weapons. Um, I ran out of ammo right there. I just switched to my ACR, and I'm kind of stuck. I'm in a bad situation because I just got a... Uh, I got flashed or stunned, whatever. But um, I just went on a nine kill streak, so I got my payload. I call my payload in, ready to go. My Harrier payload gonna do some cre. Oh crap! Look at the top. My Harrier got taken out in like two seconds, and boom! There goes my payload. So basically, my air support was an epic fail. It was a disaster, and you know, a lot of people argue that air support is overpowered. I even talked about this in one of my other videos. You know. Everyone complains air support just dominates this game. I mean, did you not just see what those guys did to my air support? They took it out in about, what, maybe 30 seconds? I wasn't even watching the clock. But, I mean, if you guys just switched to a class with a stinger missile or cold-blooded, I mean, air support's no problem. You guys will take that stuff out in pretty quickly, so it's not a big deal. But, um, right around here... I'm kind of still getting a feel for the map. I'm actually on the opposite side because before I was kind of just hanging out with my team over there. But I'm guessing the spawn points must have switched or something. I don't know. So I'm going around and I'm trying to switch my gun here. I pick up the Rafika or Rafika. I don't know what it's called. I like the way Rafika sounds. It kind of reminds me of the Lion King. You guys remember Rafiki? Rafiki was the man. I don't know if you guys remember Lion King. Maybe that's too... I don't know how old you guys are. But um, anyways, I go ahead, I pick up the Rafiki, and I mean not the Rafiki, the Rafika, holy crap, oh my god. <laughs> See, this is why I try not to talk about random crap, because now I'm just getting completely screwed up, and this commentary has become a disaster. But um, okay, let's try this again. I go ahead, and I pick up the Rafika. Yes, that's what we'll call it. I'm not even call it a Rafika. From now on, I'm just going to call it a Rafika. Just, just, you know, so I don't mix it up with the stupid baboons. <laughs> But, um, anyways, back to this, so, I go ahead and I pick up the Akimbo Rangers, and, you know, I like the Rangers, they're, like, if anyone's up in your face, they're pretty dominant, because you can just blast them like crazy. Before it was the models that were the dominant shotguns, but, um, I would say in close, close range, the Rangers are amazing, and I'd say the best overall shotgun would probably be this Baz. I think ever since they patched the models, the Spaz kind of took over. I mean, even when the models were out, I would have to say the Spaz was still my favorite shotgun. It just, I don't know, it just felt right. It just, uh, it's one of my favorite guns in the game. But, um, 
So I dropped the Kimbo Rangers, I picked this up, and I actually don't think I end up using this gun either, because everywhere I'm going, I'm just finding different guns. M16, I find this, and in Modern Warfare 1, M16 was hands down my favorite gun. I would pretty much, I mean, not even just me, I think overall, for the most part, everyone would either be using the M16 or probably the MP5. I think that's, yeah, I'd say those two are probably the most dominant guns in that game. But, um, you know, to tell you the truth, I actually kind of miss Modern Warfare myself, so I've been thinking about going back and starting to record gameplay on it. Um, by the way, that was my first death. I shot that guy with the M16. I was expecting him to die. I don't know. I guess I failed, and it just screwed up my kill streak. But, um, but back to what I was saying. I kind of miss Modern Warfare, and I've been thinking about going back to record some gameplay. But I don't know if you guys are into Modern Warfare or if you guys are all about Modern Warfare 2 or whatnot. But if you guys are, uh, definitely let me know because I wouldn't mind playing Modern Warfare at all. I mean. That's where I began playing Call of Duty. Actually, I played the one for PC first. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was 2 or 3. I don't know. But I played on PC, and that was when I pretty much began the Call of Duty franchise. And then I hopped on Modern Warfare. And ever since Modern Warfare came out, I became obsessed. I just, hands down, became my favorite game. And now I'm here creating videos for you guys and for Machinima. So, I mean, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> But, uh, this is, uh, pretty close towards the end of the game, I guess. I think there's probably maybe a minute or two minutes left. And towards the end, I'm not gonna lie, I start slacking. I kinda die a few times. And, I mean, at the beginning of the game, I was 16 and 1. And then I have, I think, maybe three stupid deaths where I just wasn't really paying attention as much as I maybe should have, or whatever. But, um, you know, I just take this guy out and I reload right away. And after no, it's this guy. So after I take that guy out, I knife the air. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but I do that quite a lot. I don't know if it's because I get excited or whatnot. <laughs> but when I'm in the middle of a battle, I'll accidentally push in the joystick because I use a default layout. I don't know what the buttons are on the Xbox, but for PS3, if you push in the right joystick, you're just gonna knife and you look like a complete idiot because you just knifed the air and it's like you're waving to the guy, it's like hey how's it going, come kill me, yeah <laughs> but it's pretty annoying so I, mean, I should probably just change my layout but I mean, I'm mean, i too used to this layout, I probably could change it but um, this game is pretty much over so I'm out of time I'll try to upload some more this week and I'll catch you guys later, peace!